Deuteronomy 28. Let's move to the book of Deuteronomy 28. Um, Deuteronomy 28. If you read from verse 15, but I want us to just read from that. From verse 15, it talks about, like, let me just read quickly. However, if you do not obey the Lord, your God, and do not carefully follow all his commands and the decrees I'm giving to you today, all these curses will come upon you. The first one will be cast in the city and cast in the country. But let's move to verse 30. If you will take time and read through, but let's move to verse 30. Okay. Some of the consequences of walking without uh, integrity, without honest, you will be pledged to be married. Kuna muta atataka kualeka hapa? Ama kuawa? Ama umesha oa? Ama umesha oleka? Or none of the below. Where uko happy? One of the issues of being dishonest, ya kwamba, you'll be pledged to be married to a woman. But another sisi ni wasome, soma tu, sitaku kusome. Kuna muta atakunyanganya pipi, sindio? Ama bwana. I know in the campus so many things happen. You may have been uh, stolen or you have stolen somebody. Now, I know, okay. I'm looking at a case where naipua. Yani, wana niipa. Yani, where wana ipua? Muipua na muipache. Mui, mu? Kuna watu wa wilu, kuna mwenye anaipa na mwenye anaipua na mwenye anaipa. Watu wa kiswahili, mwenye anaipa anaitua? Mwisi. Si mwi pachi. Na mwanya anaipua. Mwi? Mwivi. This is just part. Part of the things that we shall encounter. And remember, they may not happen one year from now. It may not happen even two years from now. It may even happen after ten years from now. Whatever we are planting right now, we shall harvest later on. Hello? I want to say this. You may steal Kalam to Kalam. Shilling up 20. Hello? 20 shillings. Skuna Jamata wana ipa Kalam, sindio? You steal a pen. 20 shillings. Then you go away. What happens? Your Kalam in kwa account, in a earn what we call compound interest. Wakati utakuwa na supermarket, watu wataingia kwa hii supermarket, wataipa. Na sahaya wewe ni mutu mungwana, utuna kuurumia. Kumbe, yo kalamu ime earn interest. After some 20 years, alafu wenyewe wamekucha, I'm not saying every potu wenye wameipiwa, Sometimes the enemy will want to harass us because of doing even right. Sawa. Kena Joseph, they were doing right, they were found in prison. Lakini munga aliwatoa. Daniel were doing right, they were found in prison. Lakini munga aliwatoa. Sawa, sawa. Some of doing the right, being honest, sometimes it can land you into jail. But the Lord will deliver you. Ambia chiraniyako, the Lord will deliver you. Eh, sasa si sema hiyo si maisha hiyo ya juu mpaka hapa hivi. Sina si umesoma mpaka hapa. Ama huko soma. Uh, Ambia jirani nisomee siwone vizuri. Aha. Uh -huh. you will build a house but you will not live in it. You will plant a vineyard. You know we are planting. Si tuko shule. We are planting. So we are building our houses. We are planting. We need to live in this life. 
I have worked with some people who have very good employment, very good houses. They are not enjoying life. Why? How did they get that mansion? How did they get that employment? Through cheating. You'll have the man and deal. I've seen some families where Atom Lango Kichapa take a heavy in Uncle Dani. They are very poor. But within a minute, they are so asleep that they don't have any problem. I've seen some people with the mansion. I'm going to get my phone. I'm going to watch man. Mlango is automatic. I come back at a net. But anything small, he's worried. Nini nafanyika, nini nafanyika. He's ever worried. Why? Because of the way he got. Niandele ama nisiandele. There's no need to kuandele. So no, no, all of these are curses. Ndiyo? Kwa sababu, uliangalia tu, ukawana, kumbe, sikuwa ni makalikulati vzuri, eke ni vector. Kumbe, yiko hivi. Alafu, ewe. Then when I'm marking, you get everything. You get an A, which is not yours. We can avoid that. We can avoid that.